Vi tenner fire lys i kveld og lar dem brenne ned på lengsel, glede og på fred. Men mest av likevel for fred på denne lille jord hvor menneskene bor. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and it's cat. Um, what you saw there in the intro is part of a very important Norwegian tradition. I don't know if you guys do it, but the weeks before, uh, you know, Christmas Eve or Christmas, uh, is called Advent, and the four Sundays before the 24th, um, we light a candle each Sunday. Um, one is for hope, one is for joy, and then you have love or longing and peace. Um, Advent is supposed to be, well it stands for, you know, waiting for Christmas, and it's a time for joy and the color is purple, so we decorate our homes with purple um, decorations. Um, so yeah, that's one tradition we have here. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is Santa. Because here in Norway we have uh, two types of Santas, actually. Um, they're not like, you know, your American Santa Claus. The name, we call it Nisse, and it's probably from the word Saint Nicholas. Um, but Nisid are elves or gnomes, and they're all figures which existed, existed long before the birth of Christ. Um, there are several types of Nisid in Norway. I'm reading this, by the way. The most known is Fjøs Nisse, which is a Nisse who takes care of the animals on the farms. Um, the Fjøs Nisse is very short and often bearded and lives in a barn or stable. He wears clothes of wool and often has a red knitted hat. Fjøs Nisse often plays tricks on people. Sometimes he will scare people by blowing out the lights in the barn or he will scare the farm dog at night. You can hear the dogs bark. He can become very friendly with the people that live on the farm, but one should never forget to give him a large portion of porridge on Christmas Eve or else he will play tricks, for example move the animals around in the barn braid the horse's mane and tail, and other tricks like that. Uh, <laughs> of course, we also have a Christmas nisse, Julenissen, which in most homes is more or less identical to Santa Claus. Um, Julenissen brings presents to all the nice children on Christmas Eve. He is not as shy as Santa Claus, um, since Julenissen delivers the presents himself. He does not come down the chimney in the middle of the night. Yeah, so that's a little bit about our Santa Claus. Um, when it comes to my traditions, um, I celebrate one Christmas one year with my mom and then the next year with my dad and you know, back and forth, which is okay by me. A typical Norwegian dinner um, depends on um, where in Norway you live, but um, in like southern, western, sometimes north, um, in Norway, they eat um, pinnesjet, which is um, rib of lamb, which has been either salted uh, and dried or salted, smoked and dried. And um, 
northern part of Norway they usually eat lutefisk, which is fresh boiled cod. What I eat for Christmas is pork rib roast and um, dumplings and sausages made of minced pork meat. And uh, some people also eat turkey, but that's more common on uh, New Year's Eve. It's um, also very common to brew your own beer here, Christmas beer. I know my grandma does it. Um, it's a more darker, stronger, and it has more flavor than the common Norwegian beer. Um, it's also tradition to um, make seven kinds of julekake, which is pastries and coffee bread asso associated with Christmas. Um, there are great variations of it. You, there, you can pick whatever. <laughs> A very old tradition um, is something called julebok. Which is basically the same as Halloween, almost. We, the kids dress up and they go from house to house and they get, um, they receive candy, nuts and, you know, other things in return for singing Christmas carols. And, uh, it's common to do this between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes adults also do it, but instead of receiving <laughs> instead of receiving candy, they get schnapps. Yep. <laughs> we don't open presents on the 25th. We open on the 24th. Yeah after dinner which is fucking torture for kids <laughs> cuz they got to sit there through the entire meal and all the blabber before they can get their presents here's a typical norwegian christmas decoration and um this is a fjosnisse you know the santa who lives in a barn <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you all have a happy holiday, Christmas, whatever you want to call it. And um, as we say here in in Norway, Guyur or Gottnittar. <laughs>